Hey friends, I wanted to share with you a code snippet that I use on just about every project that I work on. It is the paid section visibility code snippet and it allows us to show one section like this, the Eiffel Tower on desktop and a totally different one, the Arc de Triomphe on mobile. And obviously you can put whatever you want in either of these sections. And when we hit edit, you'll see that these are two totally different sections stacked on top of each other. We can design the layout, we can design the text, the images, whatever we want, however we want within each section. This might be good if you want to add a lot of text for your section on desktop and you want a summarized bit of text on mobile. Maybe you want one aspect ratio for an image on desktop and another aspect ratio for an image on mobile. And there's actually a very quick, easy little bit of CSS that'll do this for you. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. All right, so you can find the code for this over on my website. You can just look for the article or tutorial page section visibility and you'll get the whole instructions and code right here. Uh, but I'll just walk you through it visually how we do it here. So first we wanna add in the two sections, our desktop section and our mobile section onto a page. So I've already done that here in edit mode. I have one section here and right below it, this is gonna be my mobile section. So just make sure these are stacked right on top of each other. That way you get the placement exactly where you want. And so they'll switch. Uh, depending on whatever device you're on. So here's our desktop one. I've styled it. I got this Eiffel Tower image and some text. I've got this Arc de Triomphe here with the image and some text. Do whatever you want, but just make sure we have those two sections stacked on top of each other. Next, we need to add in the CSS from my tutorial page. So I'm just gonna go over here, find the code snippet, just hit copy, and let's paste this in to our design custom CSS area. Just paste that in right there. Now, nothing is going to happen initially. What we need to do is replace this line of code right here, right before our closing curly bracket with our mobile section. For me, that's gonna be this one. And then I need to replace this line of code right before our curly bracket with our desktop section ID. So how do we get the section IDs? If you're unfamiliar with section IDs in Squarespace, Every section has a unique ID associated with it, and we can use some code to target that unique section. The way I do it is with the Squarespace ID Finder right here. If you don't have that, you can install this on Chrome. Just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Squarespace ID Finder, add it to Chrome, very easy, very simple. So let's go back over. I'll turn on the Squarespace ID Finder. This is my desktop section, so I'm gonna target this, uh, I'm just gonna click on the section data section ID right here. Then I'm gonna replace this right here. I'm gonna delete that, leave the curly bracket, and then paste it back in right there. And next, I'm gonna grab my mobile section. So grab the data section ID for our mobile section, delete that, again, right before the curly bracket, and paste in our mobile section ID. And now you can see already, let's turn off the section ID finder, we're showing our, our desktop one on desktop, and now when we go to mobile, it shows our mobile one. And this is great. So let's go over to our live website, hit refresh, and we can see as the screen gets smaller, notice our dimensions up here. As it gets smaller than 767 pixels, boom, it switches to our other image. So 767 pixels is our breakpoint. If you wanna change that breakpoint, you can change it right here. So this is our min width, 768. 767, so this is our breakpoint. So just adjust that, make sure our mobile section is one higher than the other one. That's it, that's how this works. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help out with anything else you have around Squarespace, coding, development. Um, and if you want to, if you're interested in code, if you're code curious, check out my Code Curious membership. It's $15 a month and you get tons of code snippets and tutorials. I think you'd really enjoy it if you've stayed with me this long. Anyways, have a good day.